is the kind of leader he is. And clearly he does that. He affects the game whether or not he's scoring. He has such a, a, a great uh, overall impact on the offense, on his team's offense, rebounding the ball, obviously passing the ball, which is contagious, by the way. You can see the... Hey, Harrison, could you put Alonzo uh, on the phone? Okay, okay. Hey, Lonzo. Hey, Zo, it's Rob and Irvin. We like to make dreams come true around here, so I'll pass the phone to Irvin. Lonzo Ball. Welcome to the Lakers, baby. With the second pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Los Angeles Lakers select Lonzo Ball. See, Lonzo with his dad, his brother, family and friends surrounding him on this moment that the family always... No further ado, we're going to present this to Lonzo. pressure on his number one son coming into the NBA than I believe any rookie has ever had on his 18 or 19 year old shoulders entering the NBA. I don't think anybody's ever had more pressure and a bigger, bigger target on his back than Lonzo has had entering the NBA. As good as Steph Curry in the NBA? Heck no! He's gonna be better than Steph Curry in the NBA. Steph Curry's pretty good, Mr. Ball. Steph Curry's really good. My son is young. He got time to go. Mm. And you only consider him good because he won a couple of championships. Right. Don't let him win no championships. This ain't good. He makes some shots at the right time. Hey. But I tell you what, he's not as young as my boy. Has your impressions or takeaways been through your first three games in the NBA? Um, just take it game by game, to be honest. You know, don't look forward. Um, every game has its own challenges. I'm um, definitely learning that quick. And um, every game's going to be different. So I'm um, just trying to stay focused, you know, watch film with the coaches and just improve every time I can. Kyle Kuzma always heard all the criticism just of his shot and whatnot, and also it was his first year getting used to it. What are realistic expectations now as he enters the second year? I wish we could look at Lonzo without the outside distraction of his father. And you look at the numbers Lonzo put up last year, he was 10, around 10, 7, 7, a very solid year. He played 52 games, so I think when we look into the season, obviously with the 20 miscuits at this point, just him being healthy, mm -hmm. number one priority. I love the way Lonzo plays. Does he need to improve a shot? Absolutely. Yes. Um, but what Luke Walton said is 100% true. He's unselfish. He moves the ball. He, to me, thrives under pressure. He plays much better with the talent around him because he understands where to get the ball, who to get the ball to. Lonzo could be part of a trade package. Well, that, that's part of L.A. He one of the biggest things in there. I see you got that smile on your face. You got some explaining to do, okay? Let's get right into it, okay? First things first, the Lakers, because they traded your son. Yes. Career nine point, career ten point per game scorer. Average nine points last year. Yes. Shooting 40% from the field, 32% from three-point range. That dude, because the Los Angeles Lakers don't have him, they'll never win a championship again. Explain never, yourself. Never, the floor is yours. Ever, ever. Explain it. I told you, they let me go with the best thing they had going for them. No. I told them, if you get the ball, boys, you can survive. You know? Definitely. You know, I'm getting back to playing pretty much the style I've been playing my whole life. So um, I'm very comfortable in a high up-tempo 
offense, and uh, that's a clutch that you had. So, I'm going to run to the best of my abilities.